Uh, hey guys. Alright, so this is gonna be another unedited video, cause if I do, if I edited it, like, uh, I might get copy striked by Disney again, like my last video did. I made a what if, I mean, a versus episode, right? Me, Windu versus Thanos, really good. Spent a lot of time editing it, and I think it might be my best video. And it got copy striked by Disney in like 10 seconds. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty annoying. Uh, I'm gonna try to re upload it again soon, hopefully take some of that bad stuff out at home. I didn't have any audio in it, so I really don't understand why. And the video is meant to go up August 30th, the day after my birthday. But uh, because they took it down, it won't go up until, you know, well, I don't know, maybe today, September 2nd, or maybe later. But uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, all right, I'm going to talk about uh, Luke Skywalker in the Mandalorian and Ahsoka. Because people were arguing about who was more powerful at that point during the Mandalorian, all right. So during the Mandalorian, um, we see Ahsoka take on um, Mistress or Magistrate or whatever her name is, uh, and she does a pretty good job. I mean, it's not the most impressive fight we've seen Ahsoka in, obviously, but I feel like, um, well, one, obviously, this is kind of like a behind the scenes thing. They obviously made the Magistrate. Like a really good fighter because she's um, the goddaughter of Bruce Lee. So, uh, you know, I think we all know Bruce Lee is fighting uh, martial arts legend, you know. But, um, so, she, uh, okay, so she is um, the Beskar Spear, right? It's basically what it is, whatever you want to call it. Um, Ahsoka has two lightsabers, right? So basically, it's like someone with two swords versus somebody with a spear, right? And Soka's not trying to kill her, remember this, during the fight. It's really hard to unarm someone with a spear if you have swords. Let alone if you're not trying to kill them. Like, that's also really hard again. So, I think it's probably, um, like, I think... Ahsoka was, like, kind of holding back in the fight. If she was going, like, straight up trying to kill her or something, for some reason, you know, it'd be a lot quicker, obviously. But, you know, she wasn't, so... Uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, so Luke. On to Luke now. During the Mandalorian, we see him uh, take on a lot of uh, dark trooper battle droids. Um, I Okay, and this is probably going to make a lot of people mad. I heard some people say... Oh, uh, Luke would, like, dust Ahsoka now, or if she does pop in. I feel like in The Mandalorian, in that episode, and this is kind of like what Dave said, too, he didn't do anything we've never seen a, a, someone do before. Like, Jedi, I mean, obviously, these Dark Troopers are a lot better than, you know, like, Super Battle Droids or B-1 Battle Droids, but, like, Jedi took on more Battle Droids than that, like, all the time. It was, like, a normal thing every day for them. Like, I feel like if you replaced him with Maul, and Maul really wanted to beat those battle droids just like Luke did, or something like, they all had an objective to beat the battle droids for some reason, like these characters that I'm putting in the hypothetical situations. If you took Maul instead of Luke, same thing would happen, right? Honestly, in my opinion. Like, he would be able to do all the things that Luke did. Obi-Wan would be able to do those things, except for maybe Force Crush, which was actually probably the most impressive thing he did. But, like, it wasn't... We've seen things like that happen before all the time, like during the Clone Wars, when I just said, like oh, like battle droids getting destroyed by Jedi were like it was a normal thing. Like Jedi, they were used to that. Um, even Sith, like Vader, Palpatine, like they'd all be able to do that. Uh, I'd say most Jedi Masters would be able to. Well, yeah, every Jedi Master would be able to do pretty much what he did, except for the Force Crush. Um, like I think every Dark Side character would be able to do that. Probably even Grievous too. Besides, you know, the Force powers again, but. Uh, even some prob some of like the stronger knights maybe would be able to do it. I don't know. It's really hard to power up like rank Luke Skywalker at this point, because I mean normally when you power rank somebody, it's because of like how they do against each other. I can say, well, uh, Mace Windu was able to. Uh, uh, well, let me think of an example. Uh, uh, Dooku was able to beat Obi-Wan, but he wasn't able to beat Yoda. So I can assume he was somewhere in between the two's power levels, right? But because Luke was just facing droids, which is something, you know, droids that no, we've never seen another character fight, 
it's just really hard to power level him. But Ahsoka, we know her, how strong she is. In, um... Uh, Rebels. We see her take on Vader. Obviously, Vader's more powerful. She's really good. I think at one time in the fight, she probably could have killed him. She cuts off part of his mask. And honestly, I think if she was like... Let's say they hypothetically didn't know each other and they were both just trying to kill each other. She probably would have killed him at that point. But I think yeah, he was the superior fighter. He was more powerful. But she gave him one hell of a fight. But I think, you know, also to be fair... Vader probably wasn't as strong as yet. He's really powerful still. I think Vader at his strongest is probably Return of the Jedi. He's 46 then. And I think a lot of people don't understand this, but because Vader, right? Normal people, like when we age, right? Your endurance gets uh, slower. Your muscles get weaker, you know? Like you get out of shape, like a little fatter, you know, all that stuff. Um, you're not as good as shape. You're not as athletic, right? That's the main reason why, you know, you decrease when you get older. Vader, right? 46. He's mechanics. Like, his whole body's mechanics. Like, everything he does, it doesn't really matter. It's either be from the Force or from his suit. It's not really his physical body. Like, how fat... Like, his strength is always going to be there because, you know, his mechanics. His speed is always going to be there because of his mechanics. Well, I mean, he's not that fast, though, to be fair. Um... Like, all that stuff, I feel like it doesn't really um, change as he gets older. So, he really just gets more powerful with the Force as he gets older. So, Vader and Turn of the Jedi is probably more po is more powerful than the Vader of Ahsoka fought, which was 15 years after Revenge of the Sith. So, uh, um, eight years before Return of the Jedi. But still really powerful Vader. Um, so Ahsoka, from the point in Rebels to, um, uh, Mando, Mando, I think she is about 40-ish, 45, 40-ish, something like that, uh, she's probably more powerful, but we don't really see her fully display her powers, you know, like, like, like I said earlier, but she... She's more powerful, but we don't really see her face in other lights. You're willing opponents. It's really hard to rank her and see how powerful she is. She's more powerful, probably more skilled with a lightsaber. Um, she Mando's like one of the best uh, bounty hunters in the galaxy, and she just like like she makes a fool of him. Like she makes him look like a chump, um, and she is really skilled, really powerful, really smart fighter. Probably, well, she's getting close to her potential. And Luke, at this point, you see him, man, he's not even close. He's probably, by the time, like, um, The Force Awakens or Return of, or Last Jedi, which I know they kind of downplay his powers, and we don't really see his full powers and stuff. But by that time, dude, he would be unstoppable. He'd basically be like the Legend of Skywalker. He'd be insane. And then, so, Ahsoka... Um, I think if you took Luke in Return of the Jedi, right, versus Ahsoka in Season 7 of uh, Clone Wars, she'd destroy him easily. Before that, maybe, like, Season 5 of Clone Wars, she'd probably, probably get him. She'd definitely beat him in a lightsaber duel, but his force powers were immense then, so it'd be pretty hard to beat him still. But before that, she'd probably get beaten by Luke. Um, yeah, what Dave said was true. She could teach him a lot of things. She's had way more experience. And I know Luke grows, like, exponentially more powerful. But I, I don't think... I haven't seen him do enough to say that he's more powerful than Selka. I mean, he might very well be. But he didn't do anything that we've never seen anyone do before. He didn't do any unbelievable feat. It's not like he just, like... Um, like, destroyed a star destroyer with, like, his, the flick of his wrist or something like that. He didn't do anything that crazy. He beat a bunch of droids, which was really impressive, and they were really strong droids, but it, just, like, Ahsoka would do that all the time when she was a teenager, you know what I'm saying? I, I think if you put Ahsoka in his situation, she'd be able to do the same thing. And if you put Luke in Ahsoka's situation from before, where she fought, um, 
whatever the girl's name was, I forgot. Um, he would probably win too. It's just really hard to say because skill wise, he's really strong. But like, seeing how skilled he was and how fast he moves and stuff compared to Soka and Rebels, you're probably gonna have to say Ahsoka. Like, he just doesn't do anything that we've never seen before. Like, it's really hard to power rank him. Because, like, we don't see him fight somebody. We already know how powerful they are. These droids are powerful, but it's really easy. It's not that difficult for a force user to defeat them. Because, you know, all I did were cut through them like butter. And, you know, the blasters are just defect deflected and stuff like that. While a blaster user like Mando would have a much harder time defeating them. So I think uh, I think most Jedi masters and like Sith and Dark Side users put in Luke's situation would do pretty similar. Some would probably do better. Like Yoda would absolutely demolish them. He'd probably just use it like a single force push and destroy all of them. But Luke at this point's probably similar in power to like, I don't know, Anakin or something in episode three. And I think Ahsoka's probably beyond that power. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's just really hard to say. Because we don't see Luke fight like someone who we know how powerful they are. We don't see him fight like uh, Mace Windu or something like that. We've seen Ahsoka fight people like that many years earlier. And now she's more powerful. So we can assume that she's pretty powerful. But he didn't do anything we never saw someone do before. And I really don't understand... Why so many people are saying, oh my god, Luke at this point with like Dust Vader or something like that. I'm like, yeah, he's strong, but he, he didn't do anything that Vader or like Palpatine can do or uh, Ahsoka besides the Force Crush. But I mean, but yeah, he was still really, really powerful. Don't get me wrong. I like Luke way more than Ahsoka, but I like Ahsoka a lot too. But yeah, I, I'd probably say Ahsoka until we see Luke do more. Because if I see Luke, like, fight, um, I don't know, like, let's say he fought a clone of, uh, Anakin at full potential or something like that, full potential Anakin, and he beat him, then I'd say, well, yeah, he's way more powerful or something like that. Like, I don't know. It's just really hard to say, because we don't really see him do anything that we didn't see anyone do. But, you know, he also might have just been, like, that might have been something really easy for him. But, like, I don't know. I think he, he's not his full potential yet. And I'd say he's one of the... I think he's around Jedi Master strength. But Ahsoka's, like, council member strength, kind of. I don't know. But, yeah, I'd say Ahsoka. But until we see Luke do more. But Ahsoka is the better fighter at this point. But Luke has more to prove. And when he does that, I'd say Luke. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to try to post the uh, Thanos vs. Versus Mace Windu video. And I, I really worked hard on that video. I really hope they don't take it down again. I, I don't get it because I use videos of, like, Disney and stuff. Well, it wasn't actually the Disney web page or, like, the Star Wars web page or anything like that, actually. It was other YouTubers who posted, that, like, you know, like, the videos of, like, like, 20 million views of duels and stuff like that. And, yeah, I use those in the video and they copy strike me it wasn't their actual well i mean technically their content but youtubers do that all the time so i don't really get it why i got you know copy strike for that but you know it's kind of stupid i mean i get like five views out of my videos anyway so i don't really get why they're so stuck up but, you know if i catch mickey mouse on the streets lacking that's a problem so yeah i'll uh, see you guys bye